Hey, what's up guys, Streamer Singer here, and today we're doing something a little bit different. We're doing an unboxing, something I've been really excited and wanted to get for a while. But first, I'm just gonna talk about how my video uploads are gonna be. I've decided not to upload the videos that over President's Day weekend I went and shot in Florida of me bone fishing and fishing for peacock bass again, because I'm also going on another trip in March to uh, Baja, to, I'm sorry, to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. And I want to, as soon as I get back, and as soon as the spring season starts, starts the weekly upload grind. So having those few videos just start me off so that the I can try and upload a video every week for you guys. They're going to be a little bit delayed, but you're going to get a video every week, and that's my goal. And early spring fishing is usually a little bit tough, but I really think if I have all this extra time, I can really make spring videos. So let's get into some unboxing. So... I am so excited for this because I usually I only film on my GoPro, right, that you guys are used to. And it, the GoPro is great, you know, it's pretty decent, good quality, and you can kind of like forget about it. But I always want like a B-roll camera, you know, kind of like John B has. And also just to film like scenery and stuff like that. I can't really do that with the GoPro because it's attached to my chest. So I decided finally that I've, you know, accumulated enough YouTube experience that I was going to get one of those. So I decided to order one from Amazon. All right, so let's see what's in here. We open it up, and here it is. Get a look at that. The Sony A5100. Now, a lot of people will associate this with a camera for photography, but it's actually a great video camera, and it's super affordable. It's, I got mine for around 500 bucks, and this is brand new with a, with a lens on it. If you want to get a used one without a lens, I bet you could get it for even cheaper. And this is a great camera because it's very compact, so it's realistic that I'll be able to, you know, maybe put it in my pocket or put it in my bag when I'm fishing. I'm waiting to maybe a little bit later get one of the big vlogging cameras that you see people like John B. use because those, you know, they're just like very unwieldy. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get this thing out of here and actually get into the camera. Alright, so we got, we got all these manuals over here. This is accessories, blah, blah, blah. Instruction manual. I'm gonna keep this. And all right, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. So here we've got the cord, which would be nice so I can just throw it across my chest along with having the GoPro on my chest. I just drop that. And then right over here, we've got a battery. So this is really helpful. Hopefully these last a while. I did order some extra ones. They haven't come yet. But, you know, obviously you're going to be switching them out now and stuff like that. But I'm not going to be filming for as long at the GoPro because what I do is I leave the GoPro running while I'm fishing. So, you know, it it takes up a lot of battery. But with this, I'm only even pulling it out. So I don't think I need as much battery life as I do with the GoPro. Put this over here. I actually just use my hackle pliers to open them, you know, because I don't really have a good pair of scissors on me. That's the fly tying life, you know. You use the, I, I've like, I use hackle pliers and the epoxy glue for almost everything now, whenever I need to fix something, it's awesome, yeah. But all right, let's actually get to the camera. All right, here's the adapter for the charger. Here's the charging cable. And now, let's get into the good stuff. All right, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is. Look at this, isn't it beautiful? Oh man, super nice and compact. And look, you've got the, you've got the flip up screen. So you got the, you got the flip up screen. So it's perfect for vlogging, perfect for vlogging. You know, instead of having to use my phone like I usually do, I got this now, which is awesome. All right, so let's see if these batteries are pre-charged. Maybe I can start filming. And yeah, see nice lens, it's got, if you look in the back, it's got all kinds of settings for photography and stuff like that. It'll be nice actually to see some better quality photos. There aren't just, you know, my usual kind of crusty iPhone ones. Alright guys, so my camera is finally up and working. I put it in my SD card and already it's looking awesome. So you guys are going to get to see as just kind of a test what my cam, what the video footage looks like. And you also get to see first footage of what my room looks like. So this should be really interesting. I'm super excited.
my GoPro. This is this is this is the let me zoom out a little bit. But this is the setup that I actually film on whenever I'm doing a, a narration style video. It's just a GoPro propped up on a tackle box. As you can see, I've got my PC over here. It's you know it's all just a. Uh, this is it, guys. This is where the magic happens. I really do need to clean my room the more that I look at it, but you know, I think anybody who fly ties knows how it's hard. All right, now we can do some vlogging, and the best part about this is I can look in the viewfinder right now, and I can actually see myself, so it makes it a lot easier so I know that I'm in focus, and all that kind of stuff. And hopefully the audio recording is good. I, I bought some special microphone that you kind of tape to the top of it, so, you can, so I can really use it as an awesome vlogging and b-roll machine. But yeah guys, I'm super excited for this camera. I think it's gonna make my videos a lot better. So let me guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you, and if you're considering buying a camera, I have not done a full review of this just and I haven't tested it out. So when I do, I'll let you guys know. But yeah guys, I will see you in the next video.